Welcome or welcome back to Solo Marvel Champion. Today I'm continuing Psylocke aggression through Next Evolution. Today we are facing Juggernaut. Juggernaut comes in with 18 health and a momentum counter. Setup tells us to attach his helmet to him. We're going to put Hope Summers into play. Now this Captive Hope will be shuffled in with some of the other stuff that's going to get shuffled. Let's flip this. It has one. When we get to campaign setup, it tells us for each earned we have, put it into play and put an additional momentum counter on him for each one. Next, we're going to take Black Tom and a Creeping Willow, shuffle them together, and then put one of them face down randomly as an encounter card. I don't know that which they are, and I'm going to roll a die. One, two, three, four, five, six. This one stays in. This one, without me looking, will get shuffled. Finally, we're going to put Establish Safe House in as a side scheme for this game. We're going to go ahead and shuffle the rest of this in. Not looking to see what that was that I shuffled. Now I talked about it in my Spectrum video. Uh, I do what I call Mulligan Priority. I want to find the resources I need to knock this off right away. It's actually easier in... Psylocke than it is with Spectrum because I have two mental sitting here ready for me to use. So I only really care about having one in my hand, one mental in my hand. Let's give me a shuffle. Draw six. Let's move hope out of the way a little bit. Martial Training, Psychic Assault. Press the Advantage, I will go ahead and use for that most likely Genius, Fluid Motion, and Mental Detection. Uh, this is actually... This is actually a really interesting start. Because that's going to get me... This can clear this off right away. I can use these plus my press the advantage to expose him. So do I keep do I keep martial arts training? I do like martial arts training because it does give me a plus one defense. I think I'm just going to keep all of this. So I'm going to keep those. Um, one of the things that I did in my previous video or my previous series with Spectrum is with Team Assembled, I went and pulled out Mockingbird to stun him after I exposed him. I'm not going to pull out Mockingbird. You'll see which one I do. Let's start. These are in my hand. We're going to start with Mission Prepped. I'm going to do the same thing I did in my last game. I'm going to go find Combat Training. Combat Training is even better in scenarios where you have hope because when my attack is higher, Hope's attack is higher as well. So we're not going to pop Team Assembled yet. Let's flip up. We are going to use Genius for Mental Detection. Remove one threat from a scheme. For each Psy Knife you control, remove an additional two. So we can go ahead and pop that right now. That was a good, fortunate draw. Now, I don't need to pop that yet because that is just going to put a four cost upgrade in play, which could cause me problems later. Right now, I'm going to use fluid motion for 
martial arts training. And I'm going to do one, two, three. Now I've generated three mental. I'm going to go ahead and flip these. Generated three mental to expose Juggernaut. When he is exposed, all of these go away. If he schemes, that's going to flip back. Now he's exposed, which means he no longer has overkill. Uh, he's not stalwart. He doesn't have those momentum counters. So, let's now that I am attacking for four, I will attack for four. Hope will attack for four, but deal one additional because she has a mental resource. She's attacking for five. Now, I'm going to pop Team Assembled. Said I'm not going to draw, I'm not going to go after Mockingbird. I'm going to go after Professor X. And in a fun twist, I am not going to, I am not going to confuse Juggernaut. He has three abilities, much like Nick Fury has. You can confuse the villain, stun a minion, or ready an X-Men. Now, Psylocke is an X-Men, but Hope is. With Hope ready, she can attack for five more. Now, because he's here, let's go ahead and thwart this off. There we go. I'm going to hold on to Psychic Assault and ready. Now, on Juggernaut's first attack, I'm just going to take it. I'm not going to block with Professor X, and I'm going to do that because I am going to get attacked by a Creeping Willow. Whether this is a Creeping Willow or Black Tom Cassidy, I am going to get attacked by a Creeping Willow. I'm going to have Professor X block that. One. Ooh, I love telepathic suggestion. Got two assaults. I've got another detection if I need it. The Telepathic Suggestion is such an amazing card. Okay, one goes on the main. He's going to attack me, and I'm just going to take it. Two plus a boost. That's two, three. I take three. I'm going to get two encounter cards. One that was already here, and a new one. Let's hope this isn't Black Tom Cassidy. It is a Creeping Willow. It is going to quick strike. He's going to block. So he only takes one. He's stunned, but that's not going to matter because he's going to get discarded anyway. Now let's hope this is not Black Tom. Ground Pound. The players as a group take indirect damage equal to Juggernaut's attack. His attack is two. I'm going to give Professor one indirect, which is going to push him out. And I'll take an indirect. Now, something we have to be concerned with is when I push him, he is going to flip his helmet back. So, I need to be able to flip it back. Right now, these will generate physical, but I also have three energy in my hand. So, that's kind of a tough choice because... What I think I do, see right now I'm attacking for three, Hope is attacking for five, that would push him. I think what I do is I attack Creeping Willow and I do one Two for Psychic Assault. It's going to deal three and confuse him. And I may go ahead and go down to get a higher hand size since he's confused. Let's use Hope to knock that off. 
Let's go ahead and do that. Let's roll down. I'm going to hold on to my, to these three and draw three more. All right. One goes on, he cannot scheme. When revealed, take damage equal to his attack. Um, this card, the highest cost upgrade or support you control, that would be my combat training. I'm just gonna take two damage. Might come back to haunt me. Let's recover up to seven. Let's, I think I, I like that retaliate, especially if he's going to get a tough. What do I have as far as, see right now I could use these to get rid of that. So let's just do that. Let's flip up. Do I have enough for Deadpool also? If I use these three physical, uh, I don't want to lose my telepathic suggestion for Deadpool. I don't really want to lose Psychic Assault either, but I think that's what I've got to do. So let's do Let's do one, two, three for Deadpool. And we're going to have. Is that, well, is that how I want to do that? He does come back with a tough, which I could pierce through, but now I am exhausted. Let's go ahead and knock him off. A couple things happen. He goes to stage two. When revealed, plus put a momentum counter here. If he's exposed, flip that. Otherwise, he would get a tough. So he doesn't get a tough here. That makes me feel better. I always forget about that. I think he just gets a tough. Now, he has 21 health. We are going to go ahead and do physical, physical, physical to expose him. And hope can attack for five. Four plus one. Three, four, five. Holding on to telepathic suggestion because it's so strong. One, two, three. Could be a really good turn. That uh, telepathic suggestion can always do a lot of work for me. One goes on the main. He's going to attack now for three. Deadpool's just going to block it. Three, four, five, six. Deadpool is gone. Ooh, that's bad timing for that. And that is not a win. Well, that is a win revealed. This is an interesting. This is interesting on timing. I cannot flip my side katana upgrades. It would flip them to katana and exhaust them. Okay, so this comes in. I'm going to, I'm gonna cancel that when revealed bit because when revealed would exhaust them. Do I even need to do that? That is really, really interesting. Hmm. No, they just, I'm just going to let that go. They get exhausted, uh, and I do have this option. Um, 
that makes this choice a little bit easier then. I'm going to Flurry of Blows for six. That is going to deal two, and then for each katana, two more. So that deals six. This does not say they don't ready. It only says they can't flip. I'll attack for four. Hope attacks for five. And here's the thing. No, it doesn't matter. I'm going to leave it like that and hope that I come out all right. I'm going to ready. I'm trying to decide if I go ahead and flip down. Yeah, he's going to flip. And that is going to... That is going to go back to helmet side, but I wonder if that even matters. I'm wondering if that even matters. Let's go with it. I'm going to draw three, or four rather, and hope that nothing bad happens right now. He is attacking for three plus a boost. I am going to defend because I am defending at three. And when I defend, I can discard this to ready. So that's three plus a boost. That's three, four. I do take one damage. I'm going to discard this in ready. I hope that this card is not terrible. Uh, when revealed, Juggernaut, if Juggernaut Exposed is in play, flip it and place one momentum. Let's do that without any problem. Otherwise, you would place some scheme on, some threat on. Uh, now, just attack for four. So that's Juggernaut. Uh, it is really important to get team assembled out. Um, for, for various reasons. No, I didn't stun him this time, but readying hope for another attack of five is huge. Um, so I'm so glad I got that in the last one. I never even ended up using my safe house established. Um, but now going into the next game, I'm going to get a free card at the beginning of the turn. So that was Psylocke in Aggression against Juggernaut. Please like, comment, subscribe, do all those things that YouTube likes. Uh, I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching today, and I hope you have a great day.